Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. And it looks like some of you are having a tough time getting this controller. This is the FPV Controller 2, working with the new backward compatibility firmware that was released on December the 8th that makes the Cadex Vista work with the new Goggles 2. So I'll walk through a couple of troubleshooting steps that should hopefully be able to resolve the issue for you because this does in fact work fine with the backwards compatibility firmware. First thing you wanna do is check out my video on the compatibility firmware. I'll link you up here and in the video description because that walks you through some of my findings, video quality differences, steps to upgrade and so forth. At this point, I'll assume you've already seen that video and that you've gone ahead and you've done the updates on all three devices. You've updated your goggles too, you've updated your Cadex Vista, you've also updated this remote. So all three pieces need to be to the latest firmware. So make sure you've done that first. Now what we wanna do next is we wanna go ahead and bind everything together. So let's go ahead and turn all this on. So controller's on, my goggles too are on as well. Now with the goggles too, you wanna make sure you are in the correct mode. So we're gonna go into the status menu, we're gonna go switch, and we're gonna put this into the DJI FPV air unit mode. Next, we'll go ahead and power up our Vista. You can see I do have it all connected up to my flight controller. So make sure you have all the wires connected. So very important that you've connected the yellow wire. And on mine, the yellow wire is going to R1. So make note of which UART your yellow wire is going to, because you do have to set that up. So let me go ahead now and power this on. So we're gonna plug in a battery, and we're gonna watch this light here, and we can see right now the light is red. So we'll wait for it to become green. Okay, so the system has already bound for me because I've been using this for a little while. But for you, you're gonna press the bind button, and then you're gonna press also the bind button on the goggles first. So we're gonna wait for this to bind. And now we can see this has bound. Once this binds, you will bind your remote controller. So we're gonna hold this down. So that's looking for binding. Then we're gonna press this. Okay, so we can now see that the whole system has bound together. And if I check my goggles, I do see that I now have a video. Now within the goggles, we wanna check what mode our controller is operating in, because I think that is probably the main reason why some people aren't getting this to work. So I'm gonna open up the menu. I'm gonna go under settings, control, and you can see the protocol, it says SBUS BOTFAST. So you have two options here, and you need to make sure this matches with what you have set up in Betaflight. So I can see mine is set to BOTFAST, now I'm gonna switch over to the computer and we're gonna check out our beta flight configuration. Now in beta flight, we'll go to the receiver tab and we'll see, does this work? And you can see in my case, it does. And if yours does as well, perfect, you are done. If not, we can check a couple of settings here. You wanna make sure your receiver is set to serial. You wanna make sure the protocol is set to SBUS. You wanna make sure also your channel mapping is set to default, which is AETR1234. And you can do a save, see if that fixes your issue. If that does not fix your issue, we'll check one more thing. We're gonna go under ports, and we're gonna make sure that the UART that we connected that yellow wire to is the port that's set to serial RX. And you can see in my case, it was R1. So UART1 is marked as Cilia RX. If on yours, it was a mismatch, you'll make sure to fix that and click save and reboot. Then come back to the receiver tab and see if it works. If it does, perfect. If it doesn't, the final thing we're gonna check, and this we have to do in the CLI. So we go to CLI, and remember that SBUS bought fast. We're going to now type in here in the command line set sbus underscore bod underscore fast. You can just press tab if you like, and just press enter. And here we can see mine says sbus bod fast equals on. 
And this is where you want to make sure it matches with what you see in the goggles. If your goggles set standard, this needs to be off. If your goggles said SBUS BotFast is um, the protocol you're using, this has to be on. So we can just say set SBUS, SBUS BotFast equals on. Enter, type in save, enter. And at that point, if there was a mismatch, that will resolve your issue. So if I go under the receiver tab, you can see that everything is kind of working as expected. So hopefully this does help those of you who are having an issue. Again, nothing too special about this remote. These are exact same steps you would have had to follow with the regular uh, black remote, the FPV controller one. So just check those couple of things and that should get you up and running. So hopefully you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.